Only Alfred has a day for it. Maharaja. World order. Thank you for being. Hey everybody, Goldie here with episode 4 of my character spotlight series on Fandango. This episode is going to focus on self-healing characters. I'll do two quick gameplays, one of Akam and one of Zombie Brock. I'm going to skip over Fandango's moves for the second video just because we don't need to see it and you're going to try to save some time. And then I'm going to hop to the portal real quick and show you the 5 star Harlem Heat Booker T setup which I had mentioned in my Protect Gem video. I featured Harlem Heat Burger T as a Protect Gem guy, but at five star, he gets a self-healing move. So we'll just take a quick look at the portal and see how that works. Trainers for Fandango are going to be Akam and Trickster Big Show. Trainers for Akam are going to be Showboat Rock and NXT Striker Roman. You could also put Rikishi on Akam if the finisher doesn't end the match. It'll help you recycle the yellows faster. I'm too lazy and I'm too cheap to move him off of who I have him on, so we're just going to run these as is. I'm running Akam double yellow with the blue one move, which turns black gems into yellow gems. In the interest of time, I will once again be speeding through Fandango's moves. If you haven't already watched episode one to see the basics of how Fandango is set up for tag matches, I encourage you to do so after this video. Since Akam's finisher is fairly weak and focuses on healing himself rather than damage the opponent, I'm going to lay Fandango's Protect Gems just so I have a better chance of ending the match when I hit the finisher. You could also use the second purple move without laying the yellow gems for more damage. Showboat Rock as a trainer adds 4 heal gems and NXT Roman as a trainer destroys 6, so you can go ahead and lay all 9 as Akam will destroy them all. See if you can place the heal gems on yellow gems or if you can find a cascade for blue gems. That way, if you need to recycle the moves again, you can try to fill the finisher and that blue one move can give you more yellow gems. Chances are you won't put the opponent in danger when you hit a cascade and that's why Fandango's protect gems come in handy. Switching over to Zombie Brock Lesnar now, he's being run double yellow with his finisher. I have Carl Anderson and Jinder Mahal training him for more trap gems. The trap gems are what heal Zombie Brock. You want to lay them, try to find a cascade, and break as many as possible because you're going to steal the opponent's health to heal yourself. Fandango laying his yellow gems moves the pin bar enough that a cascade of two match threes or more should pin the opponent and the protect gems will come in handy for the win. Lastly, we're gonna hop over to the portal and take a look at five star Harlem Heat Booker T setup, five star bronze. You could run him triple yellow. His five star move is eight MP and he heals for 66,000 health. After that, you would lay the protect gems and hit his finisher. So you would gain health and your opponent would have an incredibly difficult time kicking out. And that's all for episode four. Episode five will focus on common mixed match characters. So when I say common, I mean Lita, Paige, Natalia, Stephanie McMahon, the free female characters that you can utilize in a mixed match situation with Fandango. Make sure to like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe so you get notified when episode 5 comes out. Thank you for watching.